Hello parents! Thank you for checking out this video tutorial. I'm Nelly from Great Solution Jimmy Math. And as promised from the last video, today I will be showing you on tricky questions of area of triangles. Okay? So let me first show you a few examples. Alright, so here's the example. Let's say we are given this figure and the objective is to find the shader area. How do we do that? Well, what we can do actually is we can cut the rectangle into two smaller rectangles this way. Okay, let me draw out the two smaller rectangles. Okay, over here is the rectangle on top. Let me call this rectangle R1. And the rectangle below. Okay, just a rough sketch. Okay, over here. A rough sketch of the rectangles with the shaded triangle inside. Okay, so the rectangle below, I'll call it R2. Right, so what we can see here is the triangle has a base that is the same as the length of the rectangle. Okay, and the triangle also has a height that is the same as the breadth of the rectangle. Okay, I'm going to call this breadth BR. Okay, so to find area of triangle, right, we know that it is half times base times height. Okay, the B here is the base of the triangle. And so happen, right, see, the base of the triangle is the length of the rectangle. And the height of the triangle is the breadth of the rectangle. So, let me write down, half times the length, L, times the breadth, BR. Okay, and you can see, L times BR, length times breadth, is also the area of the rectangle. Okay, so over here, the area of the rectangle is R1. Okay, and let's see the rectangle below. It applies, okay, it's the same thing whereby the base of the triangle is the length of the rectangle. And the height of the triangle is also the breadth of the rectangle. So in other words, the triangle below is also half of the rectangle below. Okay, so as you can see, the triangle below is half of the rectangle below. And the triangle on top is half of the rectangle on top. And this means that both triangles together is half of the entire rectangle. Okay, let me write down half of the rectangle on top, which is half R1, plus half of the rectangle below, half R2, is the same as half of the entire rectangle. I'll just call this R. Okay, let's now look at this question here. Question asks for area of triangle BCE. Okay, so how can we find out Actually, we call what we have done just now, okay? Recall that when we have something like this, okay, where, you know, inside a rectangle, you have two triangles, one on top, one below. This is going to be half of the whole rectangle, okay? Because we can cut the rectangle this way, and then the triangle on top is going to be half of the rectangle on top, okay? And the triangle below is going to be half of the rectangle below. So together, they are half of the entire rectangle. So actually, for our 10 and 40 here, it's the same thing, just that now, instead of being rectangle on top and rectangle below, it is rectangle on the left and rectangle on the right. Okay? So I hope you can see and agree with me that 10 and 40 together, they make half of the rectangle, okay, which is 50 square centimeter, okay? Okay, so now let's see 
when we were to cut the triangle this way horizontally this time around what happens is that the triangle AED with the one we need to find which is triangle BCE together they also make half of the rectangle right okay so and we have just found that half of the rectangle is 50 okay so we also know that the triangle on top is 20 so 20 plus something give us 50 so to find the something which is our triangle BCE all we got to do is take 50 minus 20 so the answer will be 30 square centimeter okay now let's look at the next example so for this example here notice it's almost identical to the first example i've shown you except now let's focus on the triangle below okay see the triangle below now is split into two smaller triangle and these two smaller triangle has a special characteristic where you see the base is identical okay okay when we see this stroke here it means that it is identical so you can see now the base okay is half of the original bigger base okay half b okay and see both triangles they share the same height okay we will call this height that common height okay so what will be the area of the smaller triangle okay let me show you okay we are now just focusing on the triangle below okay so the triangle below let's say the area right it will be half times base times height okay this is the triangle below and that will be what we found out just now half of the rectangle below okay r2 so now we have got the smaller triangle it will be half times base but the base now it is half of that base okay and the height is the same height so can you see now it is half times half that means a quarter times base times height and we call the base the entire base times the height here okay the small height here it is the same as the length of the rectangle times the breadth of the smaller rectangle here so in other words b times h is the same as length times breadth right which in other words it is basically the area of the rectangle below okay so actually the smaller triangle is just half of the bigger triangle below right that means the triangle below it was at first half of the rectangle below now our triangle here will be half of half of this rectangle so it will be a quarter of the rectangle okay now we have got this example here so for this example it's almost identical to the first example that i have shown you except now the triangle below is split into two smaller triangle such that the base of each of the triangle is identical okay so in other words it is now half of the original base for each of the triangle and you can see here the height is the same okay both smaller triangles share a common height and the bigger triangle also share the same common height okay so let's write down the formula the area of the triangle below the bigger one okay it is half times base times height 
Okay, this is the area of the bigger triangle below. And let's just focus on one of them, one of the smaller triangle. So now, to find out the area of the smaller triangle, it will be half times, half base times height. In this case, half times base times height here, it is the area of that bigger triangle, right? As you can see, this, this part here is half of the bigger triangle. Okay, so half of that bigger triangle, let me just call this bigger triangle uh, T, T big, okay, TB. So you can see here, TB, it is half times base times height, which is reflected here, half times base times height. This entire thing is TB. So actually, the small triangle is just half of TB, okay, half of that bigger triangle. Okay, let's now look at this last question I'm going to go through, and this is a very interesting question. Okay, the question is asking for the shaded area, and we are given a rectangle. So let's try to cut the triangle so that somehow we can have what we are used to seeing. Okay, something like this. So this corner here is lacking a line. Let's draw a dotted line. Okay. This line here is going to form another triangle below, right? Such that the whole base is covered. Okay, now we see something interesting. Over here, there are double stroke, double stroke. This means that these two sides are the same, okay? And also, this is a rectangle. That means the length below will be the same as the length on top. And this means that this last line of the triangle will also be the same. So, in other words, the rectangle, sorry, the triangle on top is the same as the triangle below. Okay, so recall triangle on top and triangle below when it is drawn this way together they make half of the entire rectangle okay so in this case is 160 so we can simply find the full rectangle by adding the other half or just times two so the area of the full rectangle is 320, okay? So now we are one step closer to finding the shaded area. So see the, the triangle on the left here? Okay, let me use another color. Let's use blue. Okay, so for blue triangle, I'm going to shade now. Over here. Okay, this blue triangle together with 48. Okay, recall the question I did just now. The triangle on the left and the triangle on the right when it's drawn this way. Together, they are also half of the whole rectangle, right? So that means 48 plus this triangle shaded in blue. Okay, let me just call it the blue triangle okay blue plus 48 together they will make half of the rectangle which is 160 so we can find blue easily by using 160 minus 48 and this is going to give us 112 okay so now we are left with one last step which is this triangle here Okay, the triangle I just drew, not sure if you can see. Let me maybe erase something so that it's easier to see. Okay. So, 
this smaller triangle here, okay, as I have gone through in the previous example, since the base is identical, you can see the stroke. Okay, let me just darken the stroke. Okay, the base is identical, so that means actually this neon green triangle that I shaded is simply half of the triangle below. Okay, and just now we have found out the triangle below is identical to the one on top. So the triangle below is also 80. So half of the 80, which means the neon green is 40. Okay. So blue is 112, neon green is 40. Together, 112 plus 40, we get 152. Okay. So this is all for what I have this week for you. I hope it was helpful. It was useful for you to see clearly okay, how to do tricky questions like this. So again, if you have any comments, any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below and stay tuned to more questions over here. Do like and subscribe as well. Thank you.